That's what we're going to try to be all about today. I've got a special guest, George Mann. And George, I met I met him online, and I, I discovered him because I was looking for a good, strong musician with union songs, and uh, George was the guy. George has produced folk protest labor songs and CDs, including work with such legends as Pete Seeger, Utah Phillips, and Tom Paxton. He's got a brand new album out of his own songs, and the songs are full of uh, social justice, and they're powerful, and they're funny, and uh, he's worth discovering. So I'm bringing him to you, everybody in the Santa Cruz community and around the world listening to KSQD. I'm going to bring George in right now. Hi, George. Good afternoon, my friend. I hope you're doing well and you can hear me okay. You're coming through loud and clear, very clear. Crystal clear, as they say. Yeah. Well, Well, thanks for taking some time on your show. Welcome back to The Squid. This is your second time on the show. Yes, yes, like you said, we we met online, not on a dating service, but uh, like you said, you were looking, you were looking for for labor songs, and yeah. all of a sudden, I I, I found this, I saw this guy David Bean had played my song on one of the playlists, you know, that that come out on on the radio reports, and I was like, who's this guy? And uh, so I'm really glad to be talking with you, and I really um, I appreciate that you you uh, understand what I'm trying to do with the music that I produce. Well, that, that that's why I brought you here. People are still saying, who is that guy? But I'm trying to introduce you, so they'll say. I know who George Mann is because you are the one worth discovering, and that's what we're trying to do here today. I, I, I want to start because you got a new album out. We're going to talk about the new album. But before we start, I saw you post yesterday a picture of you giving away a guitar. That oh, was yeah, you, right? That was, well, that was <laughs> Coronavirus Project number four. I've been buying cheap guitars over the last year and a half on Craigslist or wherever I find them in the Ithaca area, fixing them up and giving them, donating to to nursing and veterans homes that I perform for. Um, That was the fourth one I've done. I've got another one in the works. And it's just a little hobby and giving back to the people. In many cases, have kept me working during this pandemic. It's been a real tough 18 months or or 20 months now for most of the people in the performing arts. And I've lost 75% or more of my, my gigs and tours and you know barely barely making a living as they say you know so uh yeah but um but uh, i do a lot of work and i have been doing work with nursing and veterans homes for many years as part of my work as well a that, well i'm so impressed because you give back i mean you're constantly giving and giving back it's it's not about you having hit records and making uh, millions of dollars although we wish that was true too <laughs> but well, it, fortunately, it's I've you never had giving to deal with that yeah. <laughs> well, fortunately, I, I fortune hasn't hit my way. But, but, I but you give to New York, yes, and and sing for a lot of homes in the area when I'm not touring, and even on the road on the West Coast. I did like five nursing and veterans home gigs uh, when I was on a little tour this summer, and over even in Australia. It's always been part of my work, that's you know. Right. And, you that's know, right. it's just a lot of fun. And that's why I want people to discover you, and they can discover you online, George Mann, so easy, G-E-O-R-G-E-M-A-N-N, and uh, you've got a new Kickstarter side up. Oh, yes. Well, we just finished this brand new album. It came out Tuesday. Uh, it hit the world and, the, hit, you know, the Internet and all the streaming platforms, downloading all that. But, uh, you know, the real physical work is getting the, the music out to folk DJs and community DJs like you that play our stuff. You know, the Clear Channel the stations don't normally play my stuff and rarely do. We'll get you uh, there. So, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe someday. You know, right. When I sell out. But uh, but, but that's uh, but, no, but you do you have allowed. to send out two hundred CDs to programmers to make people aware to to press people to uh, anybody who can help spread the word. That's what you've been doing the last few weeks to get the new album out, right? Well, that plus hundreds of emails <laughs> because we do. I mean, the album is distributed digitally, and Art Many is, uh, of course, another DJ out of, and you know, radio programming, uh, you know, promoter, promoter is working right. with me on this record, and so he's been pushing it out to a lot of DJs too. Um, but yeah, we're just real excited because you know I work with some wonderful musicians here in Ithaca, and it's you know we make an album every year. At, well, we usually make an album every two years, but uh, with the coronavirus here now, which you found the album last year, you know, October two. 
2020, 2020, we put out the coronavirus sessions, and within six months, we were back in the studio with the same group of musicians in this beautiful old church called Wilberland outside of Ithaca, and uh, recording a lovely album of new songs that, you know, I wrote seven songs over the last six months for the record, you know? Yeah. So uh, it's been a good... And, and good songs there. I don't want to say the coronavirus has been good to me, but I mean, of course, being <laughs> You know, it's been horrible, and I've lost so many friends, people I've sung for for years and years in homes that I sing in. You know, many of them, you know, just, just when the waves go through, they, they lose a lot of people, and it's really sad. But uh, And yeah. even friends in the music world, like Ann Feeney, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, just other friends, you know, great, great artists that have passed on through, through the last year and a half, you know. Well, the same has happened to me. I, I saw people post, well, do you really know anybody that uh, got the virus or died? Yeah, yeah, no, it hit my family, it hit my friends. Friends. I, I've lost people. It's very, very real. And for you, oh, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's much different for me, though. You know, I haven't lost a lot of really close friends, but I can count dozens and dozens of people that I knew that I sang for for years. I mean, one home that I sang for lost 35 people in two oh, weeks. My. Yeah. Oh, my uh, gosh. Yeah. You know, I knew 25 of them, like, as well as I know you, you know, and I sang for them for years. <laughs> I, I knew what songs they liked. I knew a little bit about their background and, you know, family. I'd see them for years, and uh, it's been it's been tough. What? But, I mean, out of that came these songs, some of these songs out of that sadness and pain and, and the, the music that we recorded with the uh, with my my friends here in Ithaca is is reflected in this new album that you're going to play a few cuts from. That's right. I, I want to mention that you were living down in New York City and part of the labor movement, and you moved up to Ithaca because of this great recording studio in an old church there, and you've recorded a, a couple of albums there now. Uh, more like eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all it. I didn't know they were all at the church. The last eight. I, uh, I met Will Russell in uh, 2007 when I lived in New York City still uh, because a mutual friend had recorded at his beautiful church uh, that he'd only own. It's a church from 1908 that he bought and turned into a recording studio. And I discovered it. And um, three years later, I moved to Ithaca. Um, one, because I didn't have a lot of choices when I finally left New York City, but two, Ithaca was my first choice. And Wilberland had a lot to do with it. Yeah. I mean, we've made eight records of it produced a couple of the um, compilation CDs uh, about veterans and, and you know, uh, the PTSD there. And and we've done a lot of great work there. And, and the, this last stage in the last two, three years now, um, uh, I mean, we brought in people like uh, Mary Lawson and Rich DiPaolo. Uh, Mary who sings beautifully on, God, she's on 10 other songs on the new record. She, she's been on the last three records of mine. And same with Rich. Uh, he came in and plays guitar slide. And, and when we got Mary and Rich singing, as you're going to hear with me on these songs, boy, it, it brings a lot to the songs that... That um that I know what wouldn't happen if it wasn't for them, you know. And at the very bottom, David, or you know, or, or at the bottom, <laughs> and at the top of my list are, are um, bassist Doug Robinson and and drum on Michael Wellen playing drums and percussion and just Pro providing the bottom, the great rhythm section. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and they're, you know, like I say, they're friends, and and yet they have their own jobs and they have, and gigs and plenty of bands they play in. They're very well uh, regarded and sought after for studio work in the Ithaca area. And I played with also play with some of the legends in their time, you know. Um, and, and yet, of course, that and two dollars and fifty cents go through on the subway. You know? <laughs> well, let let me mention for anybody who just tuned in that this is KSQD Santa Cruz. We're talking to artist George Mann. Uh, one, one of my favorite songwriters of, of message and purpose, if you will. And he's got a brand new album out. What's the name of the album, George? A World Like This. A World um, Like This. And you're going to be playing, that's the name of the album. That's a title song, actually. That's right. um, you're going to be playing, I think, uh, some of the more political stuff. <laughs> I, I, I lean to the, to the message songs, that's right. But I want you to talk about all the songs because people can go find these songs elsewhere. I want people to order the album. Uh, can they order the album at the Kickstarter site? Is that what that is about? Well, yes. Kickstarter has multiple premiums from digital downloads for $10 of the album to buy a CD and or multiple CDs and different things like, you know, it offers things like songwriting sessions or even live house concerts, you know, or, or video house concerts through Skype. But people can order the album right through my website, Good. georgeband.org. There's an online store. Um, of course, you can go to any of those the online services and download or stream it, but you know what they pay, about 60 cents on the dollar <laughs> to the artist. 
So it's better if you order it through me. That's but the right. Kickstarter project is to help you know cover that cost, like you said. I mean, just just the last stage is over two thousand dollars between producing five hundred CDs, mailing them, uh, you know, publicity, and of course, you know, licensing of, of the couple of cover songs that are on there. Everybody gets paid in this project except me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the artist uh, is so, his yeah. own label these days, and you're talking about what it takes to get it out as a label and an artist and the songwriter and the producer and you're doing the whole thing well yes with some help of course and the help of, of, of wonderful djs like you i mean if it weren't for people on community radio and again I, i've been you know it's where my music has been heard for the last 20 years on college stations community right. stations around the country and in australia and even in a few stations in europe that have played me over the years um you know artists like us we would we wouldn't be able to survive if it weren't for the work of your station so i hope people of course keep K, you know, ksqd in their their minds too during your your fundraising drives thank you george that's very kind of you let's let's we we mentioned the title of the album let's talk about some of the tracks because as you mentioned i'm going to pay play tracks that i think are real funny real deep and real poignant all at the same time they have a message they have a purpose uh but you actually cover a couple of old classic iconic songs uh, that everybody will know as well as new songs that you've written Uh, tell us about some of that all right, well, I'll, I know we're running out of time, so I, I, I'll go through the four songs you're going to play quickly. The first one you're going to play is We Only Turn Right Around Here. It's about that town in Georgia that changed the law and, and banned left-hand turns after the election when all the right-wingers lost, including Trump last year. You might have heard about that. Look it up on the Internet. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's, it, but, it, but uh, I had this idea one day about, hey, what if you could only turn right in a town? And uh, I wrote this song around it, and it, it's a screaming rocker. It's one of the louder songs on the album. It's not the loudest. And then the second song we're going to play uh, is um, I Don't Miss What's His Name at All, which is quite a change. It's a jazzy kind of jazz quartet, bouncy swing tune with Molly McMillan playing beautiful piano and Doug Robinson shining not just on bass but on guitars and even some lead vocals with Mary uh, on it. And um, that's a song about you-know-who and hopefully the last one I have to to ever write about him. Uh, And it was kind of fun to write that one at the end. It was one of the last songs I wrote for the project, you know. Uh, So you'll hear that. And by the way, the stock market is at an all-time high yesterday, which is, I mentioned in the song (laughs) uh, when I I wrote it three months ago. And then we're going to cut to a couple of the acoustic songs, you know, because I do bounce between, you know, this feeling of rock, Americana, when I've got these wonderful musicians with me, um, and also more acoustic songs. So the third song you're playing is They All Sang Bread and Rose, and that's written by Cy Khan, a great artist, a great mentor and friend of the labor movement. And um, I just always love that song. And it's very quiet and soft and very and rich singing on that. And then the final one is actually the opening song of the album called Let the Healing Begin. Now, one of the first songs I wrote for the album, and um, like I said, you know, we've gone through so much, not just the coronavirus, but the events of January 6th. I mean, you know, Again, maybe not everybody, but boy, I I think I'm suffering PTSD from that still. I mean, I was watching that every day and thinking he's a step away from stealing this back and turning seven states around uh, through their local state governments, you know, Republican dominated, and he lost by seven million votes and he might be president for four more years. So um, this horrible man who um, is going to be arrested soon, probably in multiple states, (laughs) right, Georgia and New York, just you wait. Uh, for his crimes, um, that's a, that uh, is brought a lot of pain and suffering. And, and June, 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 January six was really a, a difficult thing in our country, but something that, that we should never forget. And that's why this close, song having, res- resonates so much. Let the healing yeah, we begin. Came that close. Sure, yeah. we had that close to, to seeing a, an election stolen back from from the rightful winner. Um, so anyway, that's, I know we're running out of time, David. I'm speaking quickly. but uh, Yeah, no, that's uh, why I mentioned that song again, Let the Healing Begin. To me, it was a great summary song of all, all this stuff we've talked about and all the stuff that the songs talk about. And uh, we really need to let the healing begin. So that's how we're going to close the set of four songs from your new album. And again, we're talking to George Mann. M-A-N-N, and his new album, 
and we're going to play four tracks from it. George, thank you for being with us today. Uh, again, your second time on. I can't wait to have you back again. Uh, can't wait to get out here in Santa Cruz and meet everybody. Well, thank you, David. We would have been planning November if it weren't for the coronavirus. That's but right. It'll have to be next spring, probably. And, uh, of course, people can reach me at georgeman.org or on Facebook. You can find me, George Mann out of Ithaca. And uh, I hope people will check out my Kickstarter project. Just look for George Mann on Kickstarter, and you can hear. You know, we're putting up videos for the uh, songs on the album over the next 30 days and uh, really hoping that this album gets out. So I appreciate all you're doing. Well, you, you deserve it. You're one of the guys that we want to uh, have the public discover, and we're happy that K-Squid can be part of that discovery process again thank you george we're going to listen to your music now talk to you later talk to you soon all right bye thank bye you. george mann on the screen <laughs> Right down a dusty dirt road Back to my old Georgia home a Sleepy old southern town The time left alone but Lately around here things just stayed the same Ever since that election they stole Now it ain't only the mountain Got faces of stone So the sheriff decreed and the mayor agreed there would ban left hand turns from that day Down around here we do what we're told Most of us like it that way So don't come here with your liberal fake news Or if you look just a little bit weird We don't mind taking the long way home We only turn right around here And when it was done, none of our people had won So the men in power decided that things had to change Down here in Georgia we're doing our part To make sure all the right people vote Somehow we keep losing now, who can we blame? Why didn't we ride and we go and in the home files lit We don't want no government boot on our necks Until the next hurricane hits So don't come here with your liberal fake news Or if you look just a little bit queer We don't mind taking the long way home We only turn right around here Sheriff decreed and the mayor agreed No more left hand turns from that day Down around here we do what we're told And most of us like it that way So don't come around here with your liberal fake news Or if you look just a little bit weird We used to take in the long way home We only make right turns around here We don't mind taking the long way home we only turn right around here The sun is out, the sky is blue Amazing what six months will do and don't miss what's his name at all The market's sat an all-time high And come to think of it, so am I and I don't miss what's his name at all That pompous, gaseous Owen Bag Made the last four years a dream
drag But it was so fun to watch him fall Simplistic, crass, misogynistic The bully who's the biggest dipstick We don't miss what's his name at all I sweep the deck, I mow the lawn And kick back with a beer Ain't yelled at the TV once this week Gets me thinking now, ain't that weird But my wife is liking the new me We're happy as two kids can be And we don't miss what's his name at all Like you and me who thought that they were all alone Within this honored movement found a home And they all sang bread and roses Joe Hill and Union made They linked their arms and told each other We are not afraid Solidarity forever would go rolling through the hall We shall overcome together One and all And though each generation fears That it may be the last Our presence here is witness To the power of the past just as we have drawn our strength from those who now are gone, 
Younger hands will take our work and carry on And they'll all sing bread and roses Joe Hill and Union Bay They'll link their arms and tell each other We are not afraid Solidarity forever We'll go rolling through the hall We shall overcome together One and all We shall overcome together One and all Once again, now we're standing here in the near rooms of Armageddon. Oh, let the healing begin. So sing this for the grieving mother Lovers have lost their best friends The endless line of people dying And the workers for whom it never ends And I keep coming back to things they never told us then some of us won't make it to the end Now we're standing here in the near rooms of Armageddon